Today, we're going to be learning about building bridges. Charlie and Lucas are going to be finding out about beam bridges and arch bridges. Children will need card strips, paper cups, and some blue tack. Charlie and Lucas are going to build and test a beam bridge and an arch bridge. When we travel around the country, we cross rivers and canals. We walk over and drive over bridges, but hardly give them a thought. The first bridges were very simple, maybe just a log stretched across a river. Over time, people built much stronger designs. You can start making a simple beam bridge by balancing a strip of card between two upturned cups and loading the bridge with blocks. You might need to put some blue tack under the edge of the cups to stop them from sliding away. In real life, the bridge supports would go into the ground. You can test your beam bridge by putting some weights onto the bridge. You can use bricks, Lego, pennies, jelly babies, or anything you have to hand as the weights. Let's make a prediction about how many bricks you can balance on the bridge. You can pause the video while you think about this. What happens to the bridge if we put too much weight on it? Well done if you predicted that the bridge would collapse. The bridge begins to bend as the beam is put under pressure from the load of bricks. This is called deflection. The top side of the beam is pushed together as it bends. This is called compression. The bottom side of the beam is stretched tight. This is called tension. You could then try making the bridge stronger by testing different things to see what happens. You might try increasing the number of strips of card several times. You could try blue tacking the beam to the cups and you could try moving the supports closer together. If you made several bridges, which bridge was strongest? What shape is this? How could we use the arch to make our bridge stronger? What happens if we put an arch under the beam to help support the bridge? Time for another prediction. How many bricks do you think the bridge will carry this time? More or less? You can pause the video while you think about this. Well done if you predicted the arch bridge could carry more weight. Let's compare the results between the beam bridge and the arch bridge. This time, our design is much stronger because there is a supporting arch underneath the beam. You can continue to test the bridge by placing bricks or other toys onto the bridge. Try more strips of card. Try putting cups closer or further apart. All the weight goes down the arch, into the base of the supporting pillars, and then into the ground. The beam of the bridge can't deflect as much because the arch is supporting it in the middle. We know that arch bridges are stronger. Some are hundreds of years old. So today we have learned that thousands of years ago, people started making simple beam bridges out of tree trunks to get across rivers. We tested our beam bridge, only to find that it was quite weak because it collapsed when a lot of weight was put onto it in the middle, causing deflection of the beam. We could strengthen it by making the beam thicker and bringing the supports closer together. We redesigned our bridge to include an arch that supported the middle of the bridge, which meant that it could carry a much heavier weight. Again, it would support more weight if it had a stronger beam. Finally, we learned what happened to a bridge when it is put under pressure. Can you remember what it's called when the beam begins to bend? This is called deflection. Can you remember the word that describes what happens to the top side of the beam when it is pushed together as it bends? This is called compression. The bottom side of the beam is stretched tight. Can you remember the word to describe this? This is called tension. If you want to find out more, you could try building other sorts of bridges as well.